Published 2330 EDT, 21 September 2017 Updated 0304 EDT, 22 September 2017 The Kardashian clan received false information on the day close Exus band Lamar Odom overdosed. The women revealed in a clip from the upcoming Keeping Up with the Kardashians 10th anniversary special that they were first told Lamar had died the day he was rushed to the hospital in October 2015. I was screaming, Chloe revealed during the interview with executive producer Ryan Seacrest. Scroll down for video stressful day the Kardashian women revealed in a clip from the upcoming Keeping Up with the Kardashians 10th anniversary special that they were first told Lamar had died the day he was rushed to the hospital in October 2015 the whole mistake started with Kim Kardashian who admitted she was given the wrong information and started texting her family. Someone made a fake account and emailed me with the wrong information, she says. Kendall Jenner recalled being on a flight from Hong Kong to London when she landed to the text from Kim. It had said Lamar passed away, Kendall said. And I immediately started sobbing on the plane. Then I got the next text came through, saying, actually Hess okay, Hess alive but Hess not doing well. So that's why I was so upset, because I wanted to be there to be able to say goodbye. Whoops the whole mistake started with Kim Kardashian who admitted she was given the wrong information and started texting her family broke down on the plane Kendall Jenner recalled being on a flight from Hong Kong to London when she landed to the text from Kim Klo added to think and to go through the motions as if someone has passed away is the most traumatic thing to do and then to know they are really alive, it was too many emotions, I think, for any of us to handle. Lamar was rushed to the hospital after he was found unconscious in a Nevada brothel on October 13, 2015. He spent four days in a coma with news seemingly worsening and Chloe was by his side for the entire ordeal, although they had both signed their divorce papers just months before in June. I was screaming, Chloe revealed during the interview with executive producer Ryan Seacrest. Chloe added to think and to go through the motions as if someone has passed away is the most traumatic thing to do, and then to know they are really alive, it was too many emotions, I think, for any of us to handle close call Lamar was rushed to the hospital after he was found unconscious in a Nevada brothel on October 13, 2015. He spent four days in a coma with news seemingly worsening and Chloe was by his side for the entire ordeal by his side since the judgment had not been entered into the system, Chloe called off the proceedings so she could help make Lamar's medical decisions as his legal spouse since the judgment had not been entered into the system, Chloe called off the proceedings so she could help make Lamar's medical decisions as his legal spouse. Chloe refiled for divorce in May 2016 and it was finalized in December of that year. Lamar talked about the ordeal during a January 17 appearance on The Doctors. Did I feel ashamed about some of the choices I made he said in the interview. I was basically just committing suicide. The former NBA player told host Dr. Travis Lane Stork that Chloe was by his side throughout the ordeal, despite the fact that Faith split two years earlier and Shed filed for divorce, reports us. Officially over Chloe refiled for divorce in May 2016, and it was finalized in December of that year I didn't know why I was in the hospital until Chloe had told me that I was in a coma, a tearful Odom said, adding I couldn't even speak at the time. I couldn't talk, so I was scared. Prior to waking up in the hospital, Odom told Travis that his last memory was being in that damn love ranch brothel, thinking I was going to just rest a little bit. Chloe married the Queen's native in 2009 and filed for divorce in 2013, but only managed to put the finishing legal touches on their split last December. Dunn Chloe married the Queen's native in 2009 and filed for divorce in 2013, but only managed to put the finishing legal touches on their split last December. I came to a point in my marriage where I had to make the choice to take care of my own mental and emotional well-being in order to protect myself and my happiness, Chloe wrote in a Lenny newsletter last year. I'm at peace with that decision and do feel like I honored my vows to the very end, she said. I feel that I kept the serious vows I made in front of God with every inch of my heart, which is why I am still honoring them today, even though my relationship with my ex's band is in a different place. The 90-minute 10th anniversary special, which also includes Kourtney Kardashian, Kris Jenner and Kylie Jenner, airs this Sunday, and season 14 premieres October 1, both at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on eCatch Up with them all the 90-minute 10th anniversary special, 
which also includes Kourtney Kardashian, Kris Jenner and Kylie Jenner, airs this Sunday, and season 14 premieres October 1, both at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on E!